Yeah, I just heard a NPR story driving here about how farmers can't find workers. And I look at Newark and imagine what the city would be like without immigration, uh, the city's economy. It's just, there's yep. my, I'm an editorial writer. It comes natural, <laughs> I have to sneak in. Uh, so on the uh, sanctuary city, so I wanted to ask you about, uh, as I'm, I'm sure many of us remember that horrible day when four college kids in Newark were shot in a schoolyard, um, execution style. One of the people convicted of that murder, Jose Carranza, was an undocumented immigrant from Peru. It turned out he had been arrested the year before uh, for child rape and released on bail. Uh, Ann Milgram, the attorney general at the time, issued a new directive so that in, currently in New Jersey, uh, if you are arrested for a felony or drunk driving, uh, the, our, our police are supposed to notify the federal, the federal government of that, the immigration authorities. In many sanctuary cities, they won't notify them until there is a conviction, and drunk driving is or is not included. I wonder what you think about the current state of the law. As they say, it's any felony or drunk driving, and it's at the point of arrest, not at the point of conviction. Well, I, I want to be honest with everybody. When I've got an answer, I'm going to give it to you. This is the first time I've ever been asked it. Um, I think the, the, the context for me, Tom, would be the, 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 the field is so tilted against dreamers, against newly arrived immigrant brothers and sisters. Uh, my bias is going to be heaven their back, because there's always going to be an example in any population of somebody who does something awful or miss whatever it is, in this case, in a, in a heinous level. Um, and I'm not denying that. But then that we, we got to be careful not to extrapolate that and then throw a, a similar blanket um, over, over an entire uh, group of, of folks. So I, I, I feel like the, the field has been so tilted against these folks, I want to be the guy they feel like they can you know, they can rely on. I, I have to think that through in terms of the point of notification. One of the things we have said that we would establish immediately, um, and this admittedly doesn't get at this, but it's in the same neighborhood, is an Office of Immigrant Protection at the state level. Because one of the things going around the state, uh, you know, the minute all this Muslim ban came up, I went to Newark Liberty and met with lawyers. We had Senator Booker and I at a round table the next day. We then did a separate thing with Dreamers. One of the things you realize, particularly depending on your status, is you don't know who to call. Mm -hmm. Or you hear 10 different things and you're not sure which one to believe. And so that's one thing I wanted to say. We want to ba basically clarify that to make sure there was one place, probably more legal services than anything else, mm -hmm. uh, where folks could get answers regardless of their status. And without any recrimination, uh, but on this one, I'd like to come back to you. I'm not sure what the right point of the what the right point of notification is, but my bias going into this is that we've got we've got a whole group of folks here who were sort of got we've got the boot on their neck, and that doesn't feel right to me. That's un-American. 